This is AV Faith and Fame with AV Live from your local Houston BMW Center Studios. We're about unity. We are about inspiration. We're about motivation. And we're definitely about interfaith ministries as they get ready for the Greater Houston Empowered Voices Unity Concert, which is going to take place on June the 8th at 7 p.m. And I'm excited to have with me Brandy and Robin, who are going to give us great information on what's going to take place on June the 8th. Welcome, ladies, to Faith and Fame with AV. Thank you, A.V. Thanks for having us. It is a pleasure to have both of you on with me. So take me to the beginning and let me know a little bit about Interfaith Ministries and what's going to take place, especially in this time of pandemic and this time of just uncertainty. It's good to have some unity and some uh, togetherness in the midst of what we've been going through. Brandy, just tell us a little bit about Interfaith Ministries. Sure. So Interfaith Ministries has been around in Houston for over 50 years now. Um, we are the largest provider of Meals on Wheels to homebound seniors in the area. We serve about 5,000 seniors um, on a daily basis with meals, and we also care for their pets. Um, another service that we have is refugee services where we help those who are legally coming into the country to find um, housing and resettlement. Uh, and then we have our interfaith relations and community partnerships where we provide community service and education to foster understanding and respect. And then our Volunteer Houston program, which a lot of people know about, that connects volunteers with area nonprofits. Uh, this project that we're working on now is very um, interesting to us. It comes through our interfaith relations and empower, which is our women's empowerment group um, that helps to to support the work of interfaith, but also helps to bring women together to empower their self, the community, and the next generation. I, I love the way that you guys spell empower on here, you know, and I know that it has to deal with, of course, interfaith ministries. And uh, I just, especially like you said, so many people are dealing with challenges and, and you guys seem to, to be what ministry or service is all about. Just talk about the importance of that, especially for you, because you, you're you on a day-to-day -day basis with the ministry and you're you're handling and you're seeing what people are experiencing. But talk about how that empowers you as well. Oh, wow. Um, to see how Houston comes together individually and as a community is so empowering to us. Um, and yeah, it's a play on the word, but it, it, it's, it's life-changing to see how we can come together in need to help one another and to unify um, as a community, um, whether it's through service, whether it's through learning about one another and learning about our differences, finding where we're more alike than we're more different, um, and just finding a way that we can come together as a community um, is what we're all about. I love it. Robin, my Grammy moment, you know, when, you, when I saw that, I was like, that's just major to me. I'm next to somebody who's experienced success on a high level. And when you, I know you're going to be a part of this concert. And when you hear words like unity and empowerment for you, especially as you continue to, to grow into your success and who God has destined you to be, what does those two words mean to you, Robert? Unity and empowerment. I mean, I guess they're really poignant for me right now. Um, Yes, I've, I've experienced some success, but I've also experienced like really, really deep lows in my industry, in my emotions, in my spirit. Mm -hmm. And so I guess to me, they just um, kind of mean like coming into this new season of like just being empowered and being unified and also um, just strong in my own resolve and in myself and not trying to worry about what other people think and you know, what success looks like to other people. For me right now, I'm like redefining that as we yeah. speak. So. And I know you, you're organizing, uh, you've organized a lot of things in your life. And I know, like you said, you've come through like a lot of challenges and the ups and downs. I think, I think we've become better when we definitely go through stuff and we come out with that tenacity of not giving up, of, of not throwing in the towel. I mean, even though I can, I can testify, Brandy, I know you can as well. Robin, it's like sometimes when you just want to throw in the towel and you're just at that breaking point, it seems like things change. You know, it seems like something happens to kind of give you, like, I don't know what's the word, light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely. I'll even, I'll even put this Unity concert in part of 
that that's going on yeah. in my life right now. So it came at a perfect time for me. I love it. Now tell us about the concert and what's going to take place. Cause like you said, it's about unity. So we're getting facets of people in their ministry and their gifts and their talents from all walks of life. And I know it's going to be on June the 8th on the Interfaith Ministries Facebook and YouTube page. But Brandy, let us know who's all going to be a part of uh, the concert. Sure. So we had the task of trying to find women or in, and community representatives that were multi-generational, uh, multicultural, yeah. <laughs> and to bring it together in an atmosphere that was safe for us to be able to have a concert come together. Yes. Um, COVID has kind of changed everybody's aspect of what we do and how we, pr how we present things, but we still wanted to be able to present something that brought people together. And so we have, of course, Robin, who's going to be uh, bringing us two songs. One of them is her original song, Somebody, that is truly amazing. Um, we also have uh, a young lady, her name is Ahi Ajayan. She's a high yeah. school student uh, that's classically trained in Indian music. We have another young lady. Her name is Arshanur Inkleshwari. She's a classically trained singer and piano teacher, and she's singing. Um, we have a few ladies from the community, Didi Yochin and Vicki Merwin. They're friends who came together to perform for us. Um, and then we have a choir that's coming in, International Voices Houston. They're a multicultural okay. choir in Houston, and they really inspire, educate, and bring joy to their audiences through world music. And so we say, you know what, let's see how we can bring these voices together to unite and show, yes, the cultural diversity that we have in our community, but also how unity, when we have a same point of um, coming together, really can bring us together as a community. I love it. You know, when you get this, you know, the cultural diversity and you get everybody on one accord, this is something that I hope spills from the concert out into Houston, out into the communities out into you know our neighborhood so people can see like this is really how life is supposed to be and robin i know you're gonna you're gonna bring so many things that night of the concert just share with everybody what they can expect from robin when you step in the midst of the the unity concert well i hope um i bring some authenticity um to the stage i really um just wanted to perform from my heart. So I picked one of my favorite songs that I've ever written called Somebody. And it's just kind of an uplifting, empowering type song. I actually wrote it in about a depression and I really love how it turned out. And I feel like every time someone hears it for the first time, it it really, it sticks in, in you, in your soul almost. So I'm really excited for people to hear it. I love that. I mean, as you said, you know, how do you, what, what would you contribute to being able to come out of the depression? Because a lot of times people, we deal with it. You know, some people deal with it. It's like a heavy impact on their mind and their emotions. Some people are able to navigate, you know, through it without succumbing to it. But how did you deal with depression being on you? I know a lot of times for me, there's challenges that I face with and that spirit of heaviness gets on you and I can kind of praise and pray my way out of it or kind of praise and pray my way through of it. I don't want people to think that it just instantly goes away overnight, but it's just kind of like a mindset shift for me. But what was it for you that helped you to overcome as well as writing the song? Well, for me, it starts with God, it starts with prayer. Um, yeah. But obviously, I don't think that's enough. Um, so it takes hard work and working with people like therapists, psychiatrists, uh -huh. to like people who are experiencing this and know how to help you get through. But also, my faith is probably the most important part um, to that combination. Otherwise, I still might be going in the same cycle over and over. So I don't know. I I really don't have the answers for that one. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> you do have you do have an answer because you said it. You, you know, you went like you said through prayer, through counseling, you know, through your faith. Because a lot of times we we were taught growing up that counseling was kind of taboo, but it works with your faith. Yeah. You know, you don't sit down to build a house without counseling or good advice. So all those things work together for us. And no, you know, not only with counseling, not only with your prayer, with your faith, but also having a community like interfaith to be able to strengthen you in the difficult moments. And, and Ms. Brandy, I know for you, you know, especially with ministry, you see people who are going through all of the time. And what are some of the things that, that Interfaith does to help 
kind of sharpen people or help them to deal with depression or just these challenging moments in life? Well, we, we are always seeking to help in any way we can. Um, I kind of wanted to piggyback off of what Robin said in that also, it's a generational thing as well. Yeah. She comes from a generation of faith. Her grandfather is uh, Reverend William Lawson. <laughs> and so oh. um, he, he is honored um, as on our plaza of respect at Interfaith mm -hmm. Ministry, along with two of our other faith leaders, um, Archbishop um, Josephine Renza and uh, Rabbi Samuel Carr. And so mm -hmm. we realize that we stand on the shoulders of others. And we realize mm -hmm. that that community that we have, we can reach out to, we can say, hey, I need help. I need things. Um, these are the things that I need. And if we can help them, we will help. If we cannot, we will see how we can refer and make sure mm -hmm. that we are, as a community, coming together to help one another times of need. Um, and, and that's really what this concert is also about, letting yeah. you know that you're not alone, um, yeah. that we can come together and that we can um, have times of, of joy, that we can have times of joy in the midst of what has been such a hard year for us, um, but that we are better united, that we are stronger together, and that um, music is a yeah. healer <laughs> in I so many it. different ways. Yeah, he is. I love it. And of course, as you said, you know, Robin, you you stand on the shoulders of giants with, with Pastor Bill Lawson and, and of course, Melanie Lawson, who we watch every day on television as well. Just a lot of giants tending it. And a lot of times when you, you grow up in a situation surrounded by faith, a lot of people think that we don't have the challenges or we don't need other people, but it's just really the opposite of it. It seems like you face a lot of more struggles and challenges. But as you said, Brandy, it's good that we have unity. You know, it's good that we have interfaith. This that can come together and support us it's good to be able to have people that you can call on. So I want everybody, everybody, June the 8th, 7 p.m. on Interfaith Ministries Facebook and YouTube page. I want you to be a part of this Unity concert. Brandy, is there like a cost? Is there... Uh, you know, do we have to get any kind of tickets or anything to come in? No cost at all. Uh, thanks to so many sponsors. Um, we have been able to cover the cost of this event. So we bring it to the community free of charge on our YouTube and Facebook pages. Yeah. And thank you so much to um, Radio One, uh, 97.9 yeah. The Box, Magic 102 as our media sponsors for helping us yes. get the word out for this. We really value you guys. Yeah, you know, we love Interfaith Ministries and we love everything that you all do every year. It's always making an impact in our community. And I thank you, Brandy, for taking the time out. And Robin, I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, do your thing. It's going to be a great night on June the 8th at 7 p.m. Much love to uh, you, Brandy. Much love to you, Robin. Thank you both for coming on Faith and Fame with me, A.V., and uh, much success on the concert. Thank you.